Discussion on Basic Echocardiographic Views Echocardiography is now not restricted to the echocardiographic laboratory. It is used in the emergency department, at the bedside, in the intensive care unit, as well as in the operating room. Hence, a basic knowledge is needed for all physicians and paramedics. Transthoracic echocardiography is often done from four echo windows. Echo windows are regions on the chest which permit imaging of the heart with least covering by the lungs. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The four common locations at which the echocardiographic transducer is placed for imaging are the parasternal, apical, subcostal and suprasternal. Parasternal views are often obtained first, followed by epical, subcostal and suprasternal. A good knowledge of the anatomy of the heart is needed for interpretation of images from each view. This becomes more difficult in complex congenital heart diseases where cardiac chamber positions and size may vary. First view to be obtained is often the parasternal long axis view. This view images the heart from the base to apex long axis view. Transducer is placed in the left parasternal region and fine adjustments in angulation are made till a view similar to the left panel is obtained. Exact position and angulation will vary between individuals. Usual structures imaged in this view are the right ventricular free wall and outflow region, interventricular septum aorta and aortic wall, left ventricular outflow tract, anterior and posterior metal leaflets, left ventricular cavity, posterior wall of left ventricle and left atrium. Color Doppler imaging is used to image the flow directions and abnormal flows if any. Here is an animated view from the parasternal long axis. Opening and closing movements of the aortic and mitral walls are visible. Contraction of each region of the left ventricle is also inspected closely for any abnormalities of regional wall motion. Parasternal short axis view is obtained by rotating the transducer almost at right angle in the same location so that the echo beam is perpendicular to the base apex axis of the heart. Three cuts are usually obtained in this view. The aorta, right ventricular outflow tract and pulmonary artery up to its bifurcation is imaged in the upward angulation shown in the left panel. Color flow shows the flow in the pulmonary artery. Slight downward angulation of the transducer from this view give the left ventricular 